back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a full blown get ready with me video. I'm really excited because I'm just looking forward for like a full on pamper. I'm looking forward to doing my hair, doing my nails, doing everything and feeling fresh. <laughs> the past two days or three days um, I've been doing like nearly all nighters because um, I released my merch yesterday so we prepared for like the whole merch release because we do everything from home me and my fiance do all the merch um, releases from home it sold out so quick I'm so 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 sorry if you guys couldn't get your hands on it I honestly had no idea it was gonna sell out that quickly um, and honestly I was just like so overwhelmed and so 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 grateful so Thank you so much if you did manage to get a piece. Basically, I just completely went off on one. What was I saying? Oh, I basically like haven't been looking after myself the past few days um, and I'm just really looking forward to like doing my nails, doing my hair. Honestly, my hair is so greasy. I don't actually know how, how much you can see right now, but it's so greasy and I can't wait to just have a little pamper with you guys. Okay, so I can't remember when I did my last Get Ready With Me video, but basically we're just gonna go over everything um, to kind of get ready for the day. Um, what else did I need to say? Oh, the background's changed, guys. Do you like the new backdrop? I thought I'd change it up. I was getting a little bit bored of the same old backdrop. I've been rearranging my study and my guest room. I swapped it up. What do you guys think? I'm not sure this is the foot. I've literally just put it like that. My head's kind of in the way of the main thing and then in the middle I'm like over here and I'm just not sure it's the fairy lights. We will see, but anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy a new funky backdrop. No more jibber jabber. Let's get on with the actual get ready with me. Okay, okay. I'm so excited, yay. So the first thing I'm gonna do is jump in the shower and I'm gonna wash my hair. Now, as you guys know, I literally, my hair just does its own thing and I'm just not bothered. So I had my hair done like a light ashy kind of gray blonde color and then you guys know every time I get it done, I then use my purple shampoo and then it just ends up going purple and then I'm kind of feeling it and then I'm kind of not. So we don't know what color is gonna come out after every wash, but at the moment it's kind of like a purpley gray color. At the moment I've been using um, the Fanola, is that how you say it? Fanola, Fanola, Fanola. Fanola. I've got the shampoo and the conditioner. I really, really like it. It does still dye my extensions purple. I feel like they all would. Um, but, you know, I'm not bothered. And it actually works really, really well for the rest of my hair. Thank you guys for recommending this to me. I read through all your comments. And I honestly do find them so helpful. So, thank you so much. Jump in the shower, have a wash, wash my hair. And I will be back. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I have washed my hair. It is wet. And as you can see, it's kind of a mixture between, like, purpley weird colors like gray purpley you just i can honestly never tell what color it's going to be until i've dried it and it honestly looks a different color every single time i dry it so what i usually do is just leave it wet i do my makeup and then i will dry it after my makeup otherwise i dry it first and then i have to put it in some like bubble or something and then it just kinks and it's just much easier to dry it after i've done my makeup so i'm just going to chuck it up in a bun so the first thing I always do, if you guys have watched a Get Ready With Me before, the first thing I always do is moisturize. I'm gonna be using double base. I've been using this for a while. Um, I do have really sensitive skin. I've got eczema, and so I have to keep my skin really hydrated, uh, especially my face, because my face gets really dry. So I just moisturize this into my whole face. Make sure it's nice and moisturized before I put on any products on my face. The only other thing about the um, purple shampoo I used is that it does tint your hands like a purpley, pale, whitey, grey colour. Um, I find that that actually disappears like basically by the end of the day. Okay, so now let's start with makeup. I'm gonna start with my foundation. I think I've used this foundation in every like get ready with me makeup video thing that I've ever done. I honestly still need to look a bit harder. I've been saying I need to look, but I haven't really looked that much for um, a better foundation for like dry sensitive skin because you guys keep telling me that that foundation is not good for dry or sensitive skin and I believe you. Oh, also, this has changed, I feel, since the last video. Have I done a video where I've put on my foundation with my hands? I don't think so, but oh 
my gosh. Where do I even begin? Okay, so basically I started, I can't remember why, but I randomly one day put on my foundation with my hands. I couldn't find my brush or something like that. I put on my um, foundation with my hands like I'm doing and I got so many compliments on my skin. Um, I was doing Instagram stories and people were like, oh my gosh, what have you done to your skin? Like, why does it look so clear? Um, my friends and family were like, wow, your skin looks like literally flawless. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, it really does and I couldn't work out why and it like stayed like that the whole day as well um, and it was just crazy and it was all because I put it on with my hands now you guys know I'm not really into the whole like beauty thing I don't really know like the the deets why does why do no one why does no one put it on with their hands I feel like there's some like negativity around it is it obviously maybe bad for your skin like the fact you're rubbing your skin with your hands it's absolutely flawless I just, I will literally never go back, unless you guys probably all gonna be like, oh my gosh, no, you can't do that because of this, and I'll be like, right, that makes sense. But anyway, my friend, when I told my friend the other day, she was like, no, you're not meant to do that. Um, and I was like, just try it, like honestly, just try it next time you put on her makeup, um, your makeup, and she, when I saw her neck, she was like, I had so many compliments on my skin when I did my foundation with my hands. She was like, I'm not gonna go back to doing it with the brush again. I was like, I know! And I honestly just don't know. So guys, please let me know, like, what is the reasons? Why is no one doing this? Or are they? Am I just not seeing it? Okay, so next, I'm just gonna put some of this, which is the Rimmel, like, breathable foundation, which isn't that um, high coverage, but basically it just works, like, over this foundation if I wanna darken bit. So I just put it almost, like, where my bronze is gonna go. Just do like a streak down there, streak down there, a little bit over my forehead, and by my chin. And then again, I just, oh no, and on my nose. That was the whole main part, Karis, you idiot. My nose doesn't take, like, my nose is where my foundation like rubs off quite a lot. And also I find that my like contour, nose contour is like appalling. And I found like a better way of basically doing my nose makeup, which I'll show you guys throughout this video. I'm gonna do my bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Tarte, which I've used quite a while now. I absolutely love it. It smells so good. And I'm using the Morphe, which my dog has chewed, so I honestly can't even see which brush this is. <laughs> but it's the one that I've always used. It'll probably be in one of my past videos. So my bronzer, I just kind of go over this like places where I put the darker foundation, and then. I do this thing recently which is almost like my new version of nose contouring because I just can't contour my nose and if you guys watched my like body confidence video my nose is like one of my biggest insecurities ever. Um, I wanted a nose job so, 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 so badly when I was like younger up till I was about, up till I met my fiance basically. It's, it still is one of my biggest insecurities so I can't contour it for the life of me and basically I found this new way of doing my version of like nose contour. So, I think it was James Charles that started having, I don't know if it was him that originally started it, but he was the first person that I saw, well, the only person? I don't know. That had like, put, started putting like bronzer over your nose and like by here. So almost like a holiday, like you know when you get burnt on your nose and it's all like freckly and dark, like I love that look. And obviously dark makes things look smaller, so I basically just squidge my brush out a bit, put some bronzer on it, dab it, so I'm like aiming to dab everywhere but the tip of the nose. So then I kind of like bring it into my actual bronzer, so it kind of just goes all the way over like a little path. So next I'm going to take my blusher, I finally, guys, got a new blusher, I know I've been using that blusher that, ooh. That I think I got from like a magazine or something. I don't even know what the blusher was that I was using before. But I finally got a new blusher. I just got one of the NYX blushers. I really, really like it. To be honest, I'm not really that fussy. You guys know I do use pretty much any makeup products. Um, and I just love the kind of blushed look on my cheeks. And again, on the tip of the nose. Not so much down the sides for the blusher, just the kind of tip. But next I'm going to trim up my brows. I probably should have done that before doing any of my face makeup, but you guys know I'm not very 
organized with the makeup or anything in life. I trim the tops um, of my eye the eyebrows so I can brush it up once I put the product on, otherwise I'm brushing it up and it's all over the place and I'm brushing it down and it's just not working as well. I mean, I think these are hair scissors and I literally use these to cut my brows so don't even go there. I know I should be using proper eyebrow scissors. I'm literally there like... <laughs> a mixture of brow products to be honest whatever um, I've got at the moment my absolute fave are these little stubby ones which I bought about 10 they come like this long and I bought them like loads of them a while ago because I was worried that they were going to stop selling them and I've worked them all down to like this size you guys recommended me some really good ones so the hazel from Rimmel one of you recommended me and I got it and it is really good but nothing quite matches as well as this W7 one so what I tend to do is I tend to use the lighter ones so the hazily um, colour from Rimmel on the inside bits and then I work out a little bit darker towards the edge. I kind of use the lighter colour just to like fill in this bit like at the front and then right at the front to do any more hairs I will add um, the darker colour just because that matches each hair. It's just hard to explain. I press that like uber lightly like hardly any comes out basically. And then I use this colour for the rest of it. And that is pretty much how I do my brow. But it never goes to plan. <laughs> Next I'm going to do the eyeshadows. Um, again I'm using the same brush, the M441, as like the main sort of eyeshadow base. Mm, I know all the key terms. Oh, oh, I haven't even said what eyeshadow I'm using. So, as always, I'm using my Jaclyn Hill palette in absolute pristine condition. Um, it's just, that is absolutely disgusting, isn't it? I'm using this colour here. You can see these are my two favourite colours because I use that as my highlight. So, I'm literally running out of that really quickly. This is my second favourite colour because it's just the kind of base of all my eyeshadow colours. And then I start to use a bit of that now. So, I kind of use them both together. I don't do which I feel like is tragic and I just feel like people would be like why is prime my eyelids please can someone explain what is that how do I prime my eyelids and why do I need to do that why am I not priming my eyelids I need to know what this is and how to do it um, so please please explain how I can prime my eyelids why do I create these get ready with me videos? I literally know nothing. <laughs> and then I also take the same colours and the one below there, so like a little bit darker, just underneath the eye. I take the slightly smaller eyeshadow brush, um, which is the M433. So, oh my gosh, I'm again not, not even explaining what I'm doing. I'm taking this brush and I'm taking this darker colour and then I'm going to take like a dab of that one and a dab of that one and I put it like dab it on the outer the camera literally just stopped recording and I have no idea how long I was talking for or what you guys missed but I don't even know when it stopped recording but basically um, I was just saying that I had this one look that I did like loads recently and you guys would have seen it in a lot of my videos um, and I did it all the time and I loved it and I'm at the moment I'm trying to find my autumn wintery version of that so one that I can just like have as my go-to. Um, what am I doing? Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with like a little shimmery, glittery colour um, in the corner and in the middle. I'm gonna go for like these two, hmm, yeah, hmm, mm, yeah, okay, hmm, ooh, that's quite nice. Okay, let's go for, I haven't even used that colour, I don't think, yet. Yeah. This colour, this colour, and this colour. I mix loads together, I don't even know if that's a good or bad thing, but I literally just mix them all on the brush and then I'm like, ah, that's nice. This one, this one, this one. Let's see what this looks like. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that is really nice. Ooh, I like that. That is so autumn-y, Christmassy. I like that a lot. Okay, 
Then I just touch up a little bit more back with the like darker y, blending y eyeshadow -y brush. I just take a bit more of those two colours. I should probably, yeah, those two still. I just bring it over the top just to stop the glitter going crazy because I quite like just keeping the glitter like right on the crease right under the crease almost. Okay, so now I'm going to take the little brush like this, the M431 um, and I'm going to be using this colour here to do the inner corners just lightly under the brow and I'm going to take the M, oh no my dog's chewed the end of that one again so I don't know what it is but it's basically this highlighty type of brush and I'm going to use again this highlight and I think this is different from last video I basically now highlight the main bit and then I do bring it quite far under with like almost like the excess I bring it all the way under and I even like dab it down the side of my nose um, just to sort of brighten the whole under eye a bit more for top of my lip and by here and then I take that small brush again with the pointed top do that and then I do like a really quick like line on the top of my nose, okay that did not come out properly <laughs> line like that and then I just blend that in like that and then I actually take a bit on my finger, I don't know why I'm so random with my makeup I take a bit on my finger and do a tiny bit of bridge my nose then I grab one of my um, eyebrow pencils and I just dab some freckles. I'm absolutely loving the kind of like freckly type look at the moment and it's so 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 cute because James doesn't even notice that I'm drawing them on and he's just there like oh your freckles are coming out because he loves my freckles but we haven't been like on holiday or in a time where they like come out in a while and it's just so cute that he just thinks that randomly like on a Thursday one day my freckles will just pop out out of nowhere and it's so sweet and I don't want to crush his dreams you know and be like they're fake but yeah they're quite subtle I don't even know if you guys can see them <laughs> but they are kind of there next I'm going to do mascara again I'm using my L'Oreal mascara which I use literally every video that I do my makeup and I think I've used this L'Oreal mascara Mascara is running out a bit at the moment, so I kind of need to get a new one. That's kind of like the end of the tube look. When it's like the first, when you get like a new tube of that, my eyelashes are like. So for my lips, I usually always wear one of these two. Um, if I thought I'd just mention this because I'm going to try a slightly kind of darker lip color for autumn, winter, like everyday go to. I thought I would just show you the two that I usually wear because I get a lot of questions on them. Um, it's the Superstay Matte Ink by Maybelline. It's honestly the best liquid lipstick ever. Um, this one is in colour Seductress and this one's in colour Loyalist. They do darken once they dry. So this one um, darkens a little bit again as well. So when you put it on, wait a bit, wait till it's fully dry and then um, see whether it's a colour that you like. If I like want a quick lip, I'll use this one because it's just the best. Um, and I'll often put this like over this if I want to darken it a bit or with this one I'll put the MYX Cairo yeah MYX Cairo which is the lighter so the colour just all basically mingle together to make the same colour today's look I'm gonna go for a darker colour this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, I got this in like a little three pack that was on in the clearance and it, it looks like it's going to be super light but it actually comes out quite dark and then this one is the Kat Von D um what color Lolita and then this is the matching lip liner love this lip liner I wear this lip liner with a lot of my lipstick now I can't remember what this Anastasia Beverly Hills colour actually is but it looks really nice here and when I put it on my hand so I'm going to try this one today I think that this is like a nice dark autumny colour so let's hope oh that is nice 
personally find that these Anastasia Beverly Hills are some of the best liquid lipsticks that I own for making my lips look fuller. So the 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 stick, or maybe it's the actual liquid lipstick itself, like for slightly overlining your lips or making them feel full and making them look bigger. I absolutely love this applicator and the lipstick itself and just the whole thing. So, oh, I'm quite feeling that colour. That is quite a nice, like, autumny, wintry colour, isn't it? Okay, guys, so that is kind of like the makeup, everyday makeup look finished. Um, let's move on to hair. Very important part of the process. The hair. I'm just going to start by drying out my hair, which takes so much longer now, it's long. Um, so I'll probably be back in like half an hour once my hair is dry. <laughs> okay, so I've just dried my hair. I'm now going to curl it because I just feel like the longer style and the whole kind of style of my hair at the moment suits being like really curly. So. I'm going to use the Babyliss, I literally have had the, these hair curlers for so long and I love them so much. I like to make sure I get each um, sort of layer curled because otherwise I attempt to like curl it just all free down like this and I half of it isn't curled and half of it the back isn't curled and I don't even notice. So what I do is I split it into layers. So I'm just going to start with the bottom layer. Just wrap it around like this and hold for like five to ten seconds maybe. I wasn't even counting that one. And then I let it drop, hold it for like two seconds. Ta-da! And I just do that for every piece of hair. <laughs> and it takes so long. Also guys, the plaster on my arm is nothing brutal or major. It's um, from where I had my implant changed. I did talk about it on my ooh, Instagram stories the other day. But um, I have the contraceptive implant in my arm and I've had about, this is my third one now. And every time you get it changed, um, it is a kind of like semi-deep cut in your arm. So changing it, so have it taken out and having it changed, it's not bad. Um, I know it seems like a scary procedure and even at the time, like they give you anaesthetic in your arm and it does seem like a big procedure, but it's not. Honestly, they know exactly what they're doing. I think the worst is that you can't actually feel the pain, but you can like feel them doing it so you feel like you should be able to feel the pain and that's all a bit mind bogglingly and a bit weird. I've done two times now, I've had it changed twice and it's been absolutely fine. Um, so yeah, it's amazing. I really do like it, it really works well for me. And this will probably be the last time I have one in. I'm literally desperate to have a child, help me. As you can see now it's very very curly, we've got little bits of like blondy, purpley, grey bits all together. I kind of just brush really lightly through it, like once, especially at the bottom. Oh it's really grey at the bottom and it's got like little purple bits up here. And that's pretty much how I do my hair most days at the moment. Nails, okay. So. Uh, as I showed you in a previous get ready with me, I think, I still use, ooh, I still use the Primark or Primark one pound nails. Love them to pieces. Um, I did get my nails done like professionally a few times with proper like acrylic or gel or whatever they're called. At the moment I'm going through a phase of using my false nails. So this time I've got the naked set, I just go for a set that's like a really plain colour and um, what, a colour that I can paint over. You just take the glue, you snip the top off. In the last Get Ready With Me I showed that I left like a space between where I put the nail and like where my nail bed actually is. I don't do that anymore, I just actually think that it looks better when I put the nail all the way down to the nail bed like this. Please excuse all the um, purple shampoo, like purpleness of my fingers and stuff, but yeah, I put the nail all the way down to the nail bed. Then you just do the same. I don't put too much glue on, I just put a little bit on and then I just wave it around. Boom. So I finished them all, I've got them all with little nails on. Now we trim them. I think I'm going to go for quite a short nail today. I'm feeling quite like a petite, short nail. Let me get my nail clipper. Mm. Kind of like that length, maybe even shorter. They kind of look like this at the moment. And then I'm going to go for like a... Like that. That's quite a cute shape, I think. 
So these are the nails as they are done. I actually think the you could like get away with leaving them this colour once they are short. Do you get me? Like I just feel like they don't look like proper nails when they're really long and I felt like I needed to paint them and they looked a lot better painted. Whereas now I'm looking at these, I'm like these kind of just, because they're so short. Do you know what I mean? So usually I would fake tan during like a get ready with me and like a pamper but I'm not like super pale at the moment and I usually wait till I've like washed it all off and then I'll just go again. But basically I get loads of questions on my fake tan and this is the fake tan that I use at the moment. I think it's just the best ever. It's a three hour streak free St. Moritz fake tan. The colour holds really well if you leave it on for longer than three hours so I do sleep with it on but that does give me like a really dark colour and I don't put it on my face either. I just try and match my foundation on my bronzer and everything like that to match it. But look at that guys, that's from where I had the um, it changed and I don't even know. Oh it's where I had the plaster on, the original one was like a bandage and it had like a plaster and all the fake tan came off by there. So that's really great, this kind of needs to come off soon, um, it's getting a bit patchy. Oh my gosh what is that? I don't even know. Now I'm going to go and pick an outfit out and then decide whether I want to paint my nails to match. And for today's autumn outfit I'm going to be wearing this. I'm going to be wearing my new pretty little thing autumn boots. Guys, I can't believe how well these match the jacket. And the jacket is from Boohoo and I love it to pieces. It's really thin, it's really comfortable. It matches the boots for autumn. I've got my Topshop jeans on which are, as you guys know, I talk about my Topshop jeans all the time. They're my favourite jeans. They're so, so comfortable. They're so, so sort of just nice. <laughs> but it is way too hot in this room to even wear the jacket. Okay guys, so that is the final look. We've got the hair, we've got the nails, we've got the kind of semi already existing tan and we've got the autumn everyday makeup look. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it enjoyable or helpful or entertaining in some way. I just had to show you these really cute bracelets that I again posted on my Instagram story yesterday. I absolutely love them. How well can you see that? I have no idea what, whether you can even see that. But basically um, they are some samples um, that I'm testing for maybe something that might be coming in the future for YAE. Anything that um, I will release or anything like that I will test out and just see that it works. So I've been testing it like behind the scenes for quite a while and then I was getting like such good feedback from my friends and family that I was like I just need to show you guys because I just love them so much and I think they go together so well. So also I did ask this on my Instagram stories but I am always curious. Let me know which one do you prefer? This is what I need to know from you guys today for my market research. Which do you prefer? The little beaded one with the little YAE charm on it? But I would probably have this charm instead, which is like a little swirly YAE, instead of the um, this font YAE. Or the sort of cuff one, which is like that and it's adjustable and you can make it as big as small as you want. And you can just like peel it off like that and then move it and just puff it back on. So I feel like they go really nice together, but let me know below. That's what I need to know from you guys today. Which one do you prefer? One or two. On the note of YAE, for my little self-love talk at the end of today's video, I literally just want you to remember YAE. That's why I created the brand, that's why I started the whole thing was to remember that we are enough. It's not something that we can just switch on but I just want you to know that you are enough. I just want you to know that whoever you are right now, whatever you're doing right now, wherever you are at in your life right now, whatever shape you are, whatever job you've got, whatever anything, right now, however you look, whatever your hairstyle is, I just don't even care. I just want you to know that you are enough for everything you are, that you are a human and that you are a being and that your body loves you so much. Your body is in survival mode for you all the time and you need to love your body back just as much as it loves you. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to say to you guys. You are enough, you are freaking enough. I'm very passionate about this, I love, um, everything to do with it and I can chat about it for ages. Okay, I will stop babbling. I'll see you guys in the next video and I love you so, so, so much. Bye guys. Mwah.